once you've got your protected intellectual property, um, there's a couple of routes, really, for commercialising it. Um, licensing is beloved of universities. Um, probably the majority of revenue back to universities from intellectual property is via licensing. And the joy of licensing is that you can license it out to somebody who is already doing something like this. So they already know all of the commercial pitfalls and you don't have to worry about that. Because you're taking less risk and the commercial partner is taking potentially quite a lot of risk, um, your returns are going to be a bit lower. Um, it's also ideal if your technology is more of an improvement than a platform technology. If you've got a platform technology that's got multiple other applications, you probably wouldn't want to give somebody a license to that core technology because that would stop you doing anything with any of the other applications. But it means that you can get things out the door earlier because you don't need to have developed it quite as far because the commercial side of the development will be taken on by your licensee. And also it means, from your point of view, it, you keep it at arm's length. They've got all the hassle, all the worry. And as an academic, you, know, you don't want to be worrying about accountancy. Um, so it's quite attractive to academics. And the other thing is, if your technology has potentially a, a couple of applications, or it might have an application that's going to be very popular in the French market but not in the US market, you can segment it up. So you can give a French partner a license to do this in France, whilst still giving a US partner a license to do something similar, but not necessarily the same, over in the US. So it's a way of splitting up your IP and potentially maximising the returns. And the other alternative uh, is formation of a company, creating a spin-out company. Um, this is particularly appropriate if you've got a platform technology and you don't know what all of the applications are going to be yet because it means you retain it all so you've still got full freedom to explore those other applications later on. Also if it's a highly disruptive technology and working in the university sector a lot of what universities produce are disruptive technologies there won't be an existing market for that necessarily. No, nobody's going to have done it before, so there won't be an appropriate licensing partner. The thing about a spin-out, though, is it places a lot more demand on the inventor. Um, they're going to need to remain involved with the company for at least its early years. It does give them the direct control. Um, wouldn't want to imply that academics are control freaks, but it means that they have full reign over what happens with that intellectual property and it means your financial rewards are totally undiluted um, it all comes back to you rather than being portioned off to licensees